Welcome to the March edition of Under the Radar, Over the Moon. This is the month of St. Patty's Day, so in, in honor of the sainted Patty, we have some sainted beer here and we're going to toast to all the lovely, lovely librarians and all the lovely books out there written by the lovely authors. A cheers, kids. <coughs> Who's starting first? It is I. It is Chris I. Connelly, library <laughs> marketing assistant. And my book is Night of the Animals by Bill Brown. It's a strange new release that centers on this 90-year-old indigent living in a semi-futuristic London uh, that is, has some dystopian elements. Think, oh, Brazil, Terry Gilliam. And it's him trying to unlock his brother. His brother actually died in a childhood accident at, when they were children, but this main character is kind of crazy, and he is convinced that his brother is reincarnated as an otter living in the London Zoo. There are widespread death cults that are killing the animals and themselves in this near future, and he is convinced he needs to save the animals and then save his brother. Um, it's kind of a reimagining of Noah's Ark, only far more insane. Again, beautiful and rewarding. It's a challenging book, and I'm just so glad it exists, and I think you will be too, so give it a shot. All right, I'm gonna go next. I really wanna talk about Brighton by Michael Harvey. It starts off in 1970s Brighton, which is an area of Boston. And um, this area is just chock full of like race tension and class tension, a lot of stuff going on. This is kind of a rough area. And this man, his name is Kevin. At this point, he's probably like, I think 10 or 12 or so, he's very young. But he and his best friend, Bobby, um, they avenge his grandmother's murder. Bobby forces Kevin to flee Brighton um, for like 30 years or so. And then the main action of the novel happens 30 years later when Kevin returns to Brighton when Bobby is suspected of murdering more people. So you have this great central mystery that really nothing is as it seems. There's a lot of tension here. He really makes you feel that there's a lot at stake for these characters, but it also has this great kind of family drama element and this friendship where these two men have been connected over like distance and time and all of that is irrelevant to their friendship. So atmospheric, it's a great novel. It'll really kind of reach in and grab you and hold you tight. It was excellent and I really hope you give it a read. And the book I'm gonna talk about is The Maximum Security Book Club by Makita Brotman. This is an Oxford educated scholar and a psychoanalyst. And she runs a book club in this maximum security prison in, outside of Baltimore. And she introduces them to literature that they would never have picked up. She, she uh, picks 10 titles that are, they're hard. They're, 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 they're not easy choices. Uh, they're not easy reads. And some of them they respond to and some of them they don't. But what's interesting is to hear how they relate to these books and the characters in them Everything from Edgar Allan Poe to Shakespeare uh, to William Burroughs, it's very interesting what they respond to and how they relate um, instances in their life to the characters and the choices that the characters in these books have made. She talks about some of the challenges that they have to, you know, they have their reading, reading assignments and they have to do it. Um, sometimes they're in lockdown. Sometimes um, there's, there's the cacophony of the everyday, um, the banging and the clanging, the, you know, no, no private time. And yet these guys keep coming back and they're connecting with her. It not only is an interesting story about how the inmates relate to the book, it's also, it whets your appetite to go back and read these books. So they're, it's, it's got a double layer and it's really wonderful. And I, I just think it's a terrific idea for a book. And I'm really hopeful that you'll pick it up and love it. To all you librarians out there, thank you again for joining us. We hope you'll pop open a beer, enjoy a pretzel, and maybe check out these strange and wonderful books that we talked about today. Cheers. Thank you.